have learnt ultra structure of a typical cell in the previous classes. Today we shall compare and contrast an animal cell with that of a plant cell. Since both of them are living beings, they share so much in common that we are going to list it now. One thing is, they both, both the cells have got a cell membrane as its covering. This is the cell membrane of the plant cell. This is the cell membrane. This are the cytoplasm of the animal cell and this is the cytoplasm of the plant cell. They both have a nucleus. This is the nucleus of the animal cell. This is the nucleus of the plant cell. Since they are eukaryotic in nature, both of them have got a nuclear membrane which is a double one. Here also the nuclear membrane is a double membraned one which encloses the chromatin material, the nucleolus and these are the chromatin material and the nucleolus. This is the definite nucleus present in both of them. They have some cell organelles in common like mitochondria. These are the mitochondria which are called as a powerhouse of the cell. Here too we find the mitochondria. We have Golgi complex here and Golgi apparatus are also found in plant cell. We have ribosomes here. These are the ribosomes, a dot like structure. Here also we find ribosomes that are present over the reticulum. These are the features that are present common. Vacuoles are also present here and this is the vacuole present in the plant cell. So the common feature which are shared are presence of a cell membrane, presence of a different organelles like mitochondria, Golgi apparatus, endoplasmic reticulum and ribosomes both the side. Here also we have Golgi apparatus, mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes and the nucleus. Now let us see what are the differences that are there in both the cells. First and the most striking difference between the plant cell and an animal cell is the presence of the chloroplast. These are the chloroplasts which are green in color. You can see here. These chloroplasts are not present in the animal cell. You don't find chloroplast in the animal cell. This is because of the mode of nutrition. In plant cell, the mode of nutrition is autotrophic. Since these chloroplasts undergo a process of photosynthesis and prepare their own food they are present here whereas they are absent in animal cell since the mode of nutrition is heterotrophic and they have got to depend on other living beings like animals or other plants. Secondly the plant cell is covered by one more protective layer what is called as a cell wall. This is the cell wall of the plant cell. This is very thick and rigid and is made up of cellulose which is absent in the animal cell. You do not have a cell wall in the animal cell. Whereas in the plant cell it is very clear and it gives the perfect uh, rectangular to squarish shape to the animal cell. And the second difference is the presence of a vacuole. Here two vacuoles are present but the vacuole is slightly bigger than when compared to the animal cell and in plant cell the vacuole is single it is only one vacuole and it is bigger whereas in animal cell two or more vacuoles could be formed the function of the vacuole is to store water ions and other material in plant cell it also acts to give and maintain the turgidity of the plant cell. These are the three main differences you can note between the plant cell and the animal cell. To brief it up, first difference is 
the presence of a big uh, vacuole in a plant cell and two or more smaller vacuole in animal cell, presence of a chloroplast in the plant cell, absence of a chloroplast in the animal cell, then presence of a cell wall in a plant cell, absence of cell wall in the animal cell. One more difference is the presence of a centrioles in the animal cell which is absent in plant cell. This centriole helps in the mitotic division whereas it is not found here but some form of a lower plant cell could be having that. During the cell division also there is a difference while the formation of the two daughter cell here in this case a furrow is formed while dividing in plant cell a cell plate is formed before it divides i hope the similarities and the differences between the animal cell and plant cell are clear to you now thank you